Um, we have been in preparatory mode from um, earlier this week. As you'd have known, um, the leave for the Special Services Unit and Police Marine Unit has been cancelled. All other police officers' leave will be cancelled as of 2 p.m. today. From an operational standpoint, we have divided the country into four zones. Each zone will be the north, south, east, west. Each zone will be managed by a, an assistant commission of police. We intend to send out the details later. It will be there for the public, so you will see how the zones are demarcated. So you have direct communic with um, your assistant commission of police responsible for each zone. Um, We also went around, we did our some research assessment, and we have been meeting with stakeholders, fire service, some officials from Ministry of Health, Sufre Hospital. We stand ready to assist. The police know that it is a priority, it's a priority area. We also know that um, we have gotten some extra vehicles from other ministries, and that is quite deliberate. It is in, to increase the police mobility and flexibility. We know that at times like this, um, some criminals profit the opportunity to vandalize and break into persons' establishments, and the SSU is deliberately made more, more agile. And so I just want to let you know and let you let the police know that they have my full support in executing their lawful duties. So we're not going to tolerate any level of nefarious activity. We're not going to um, allow persons to use this as an avenue to exploit businesses or hardworking people. So rest assured that the police stands ready and willing to deal with any eventualities during this passage. Um, in terms of our assets, we also, fortunately, we have an extra 30 um, persons from the RSS. They are already in St. Lucia, so that's extra hands on deck in the event that we need to assist any, any um, community. We have... We have retained two of our vessels. They will be on land as soon as, the, as soon as it's safe. Then we'll be able to transport persons especially. But our main aim would be to, for the preservation of life and property. So we'll have a way of grading, grading our responses and our calls. So we have been in dialogue with the St. Lucia Fire Service. And we expect to have that level of communication going right through.